ends forever. Oh my! Oh my! Whoa! Huh? Oh. Oh, he just spawned behind me and started hitting me from behind. That normally doesn't happen until the second date. Hello, and today I'm going to be telling you everything that you need to know about Zenith, so let's get right into it. Zenith is an MMORPG 100% inside virtual reality. For those of you unfamiliar with a, what an MMORPG entails, there's a large open world with different classes and different weapon specializations. As I said before, there are three different classes, healer, DPS, and tank. You can also choose between two different weapon specializations, which are swordsman and mage. However, there's no need to feel as though you're trapped in a certain class or weapon specialization because you can change them at any point as long long as you're not already inside of one of the dungeons. Keep in mind though that when you change you are starting to level 1, but once you go back to your original, you'll go back to your original level. I have noticed that the developers put in a lot of time with certain mechanics, like how you can craft weapons, craft armor, and even craft different food items that you can use for healing while you're in combat. There is also a looting based system in the game where you can loot random chests throughout the map, or even loot the bodies of the enemies that you kill in order to unlock things to upgrade your weapons and armor, as well as even find new upgraded abilities of the ones you already own. If you happen to run any armor or weapons that you have duplicates of, you are more than welcome to recycle them to get parts to upgrade your current weapons, or you can sell them for the game's in-game currency. I've even come to notice some of the subtle mechanics about the game, like how you can't attack an enemy from a range where he can't hurt you, it will prevent the enemy from taking damage over that period of time, and he'll automatically heal to make it to where you can't just cheat your way through something. However, there are a few things I've noticed about the game that I want to tell you before you buy it. I also did want to point out that there are some some bugs the developers are currently working through. For example, we noticed that the AoE for the tank actually damages the tank as well as the enemies whenever it's only supposed to damage the enemies. I also did want to point out that there's been a lot of server issues that people have mentioning lately, not only with servers crashing or them getting kicked out individually, but also the servers are based off of the online players that are currently in there. So if you create your player, you're stuck in that certain server for at least 24 hours, and if that particular server happens to be full, then you just can't log on to your character and play in that server. I also did want to point out from a UI perspective, I feel like the UI could be adjusted a lot. I found myself accidentally grabbing my quick items whenever I was trying to grab to be able to cast spells and things of that nature. So I think maybe pulling everything closer towards you, having your weapons on your hips and your quick items on your chest, something like that, pulling everything closer so that we could actually perform your moves out in front of you could be something that could be adjusted in the future. But in spite of these issues, I did want to give this game an 8 out of 10 rating. It's fun, definitely with friends. Sometimes it's not too fun just based off your certain style of games. If you're somebody that normally prefers FPS, I found myself getting bored of it within the first hour, but the minute I just started talking to random people in there, I started having a blast. And there have been a lot of players that have been saying that this game lacks content. A lot of those people are probably coming from other MMORPGs that are desktop based or console based. However, you have to keep in mind that even though VR is widely spreading, it still is a very new industry. This game has laid out the groundwork for its launch, and I am so looking forward to all the content that's going to be coming within the next few months. And that's all the details that you need to know when deciding whether or not to purchase Zenith. I hope all of you have a fantastic day, and I hope to see you on the virtual battlefield. Have a great day. Nice. Yeah! Yes, that's awesome. <laughs> Oh, were we oh, not yeah, were we not doing the group teabag? I think I misread the message. Yeah, there. I'm sorry. Teabag. Sorry. Sorry.